Hey, what is up everyone? This is Brad with Display Fitness and uh, today I got a video. I'm gonna do a little bit of form check and um, for this form check, you got a, a viewer named Jordan um, reached out to me on, uh, on IG and wanted to show me some of his, uh, some of his deadlift videos and then asked me to kind of critique and see what I thought. So um, we're gonna go through that today real fast and check out Jordan's form. So real quick, we'll let you take a look at uh, Jordan's videos here. And those first two look pretty good and then uh, I asked Jordan if he had uh, any videos with him doing a little bit more weight and so then he sent me this one. Okay so um, looking at the first video here from the side um, you know I've watched this video kind of over and over again and everything actually looks pretty good there isn't there isn't in my mind a whole lot to critique from what I'm seeing here. I can see that you're breathing and bracing before you initiate the pull. I can see that it appears that you kind of tension the bar a little bit, so you're not you're not jerking on the bar. Um, so you get a nice smooth uh, movement and, and it's not bound to kind of pull you out of position. Something to be mindful of is if you end up pulling onto a deadlift bar. This doesn't appear to be a deadlift bar, um, but once you actually start pulling on a deadlift bar or if you utilize a deadlift bar, um, just be aware that some of that initial bar whip can take you out of place. Where What you're doing here with this kind of pre-tensioning the bar and, and getting that transition, that will definitely help minimize bar whip if you ever do use a deadlift bar for deadlifting. But in terms of your positioning and, uh, and the movement, uh, the bar moves smooth and fluid. Um, you don't appear to have any trouble with this amount of weight. And um, I don't see any extension in the lumbar. Quite honestly, this is a very, very good looking deadlift. Um, and I don't see any major flaws with this. So in fact, while we're viewing this video, I asked Jordan if he had any video of him uh, with heavier weight so that I could hopefully see some breakdown. And then when looking at the, uh, the second video, uh, the video from the front view, um, again, you know, everything looks pretty good here, Jordan. I don't see any major flaws in your, the performance of the lift. I have uh, a few small corrections or suggestions, I guess, that I, I might make to you. Now, the first thing that I see is this kind of the movement that you're making with your elbow before you lift the bar. I, I don't see that being particularly beneficial for what you're doing, um, unless it's just kind of a mental cue for you to kind of get you back into place to, or at least mentally, to get you ready to pull. Because um, normally when you see that cue on people, when they, when they move their arms that way, what they're actually doing is they're trying to, t trying to tension up their lats. And on that side view, I didn't see, and I, I tried to zoom in and get a good look, I didn't see that lat moving at all. So it just appears to be kind of an elbow movement on your part and not actually squeezing that lat back in there. So a lot of, a lot of people will call that kind of tucking your lats in or put your, put your lats in your pockets. Um, that can be a good way to kind of get you that mental cue to, to tuck those lats nice and tight so you get that upper back real, real tight and taut uh, to, before you begin the movement. Um, the way that you're doing it, I don't see that happening. So again, if this is just a cue that you do, just to kind of like a, almost like a quirk that you do, whatever, it's, it really is a non-issue. Um, but if you're doing it out of some idea that you're tightening up your back, in the video that I'm looking at, I don't see any movement in the lat, I don't see any tensioning in the upper back, uh, at least in the video. So if it's happening, then great. Um, but if, if that's what you're aiming for, you wanna make sure that you're actually bringing those, those, uh, those scapula back and tightening up the back and squeezing those lats in. Um, that'll give you more tension on the pole. And then the other thing that I see here on the uh, on the front angle is it looks like your hands are a little bit wide. I would recommend both hands coming in right to the basically the, the side of you, just outside your hips. Um, and the reason for that is essentially the further that you move your hands out, the more it becomes like a snatch grip deadlift. And I think we can all agree that a snatch, a snatch grip deadlift is more difficult than a conventional deadlift. Um, so I think that just by, you know, just by that uh, little bit of movement on uh, moving your hands out, you're probably increasing the difficulty of the movement. Um, and so just for a little bit better, um, I guess, mechanics, I might recommend bringing your hands in so they're a little bit closer to your hips. It appears as though each could probably move in three or four finger widths. 
Um, and then the last little uh, kind of comment that I have on, on the, the front shot, uh, Jordan, is looking at this, it appears as though you kind of have some barbell track marks up and down your shins. And uh, while it's good to keep the bar close to you, it is probably not good to be dragging it up your shins and, and raking your, your shins all, all crazy bad um, just because it hurts. Um, so again, it's real great to keep your, your bar close to you. Um, but if you start tearing up your shins because you know, you're, you're actually raking the bar against your shins, um, that's not necessary. So I would probably advise against doing that. Um, I've been deadlifting for years. Um, I've had a lot of success deadlifting. It's probably my, my best lift. And I have never, ever, ever uh, dragged the bar up my shins and um, been quite happy not doing so. Um, so that might be another small adjustment that I make to you or that a suggestion that I make to you for um, you know, making that change. Uh, to not do that just because it hurts and it doesn't really improve the lift that much. Um, if you're dragging up your shins, you know, you're, you're increasing friction. Um, increasing friction increases difficulty. And like I said, it hurts like hell. So I might recommend not doing that. Ah, do it. <laughs> on this last video, Jordan, uh, that you sent me where you're, you know, doing uh, a little bit more weight. Looks like, uh, like right around 500 pounds. Again, um, man, I'd say that this, this looks great. I don't see any major flaws with what you're doing. Um, you know, I see that you have a belt on for this. Um, I recommend that anytime that you go up over 50%, you have a belt on. Um, just because having a belt increases that kinesthetic cue uh, to abdominally brace. And, um, you know, if you follow any research or you believe in some of the research, uh, it indicates that you get more muscle activation with a belt on than without a belt. So you're actually getting better core training having that belt on because it gives you something to that kinesthetic cue to think about consciously and brace against uh, so you get more muscle activation. Um, so anytime I go up over 50%, I utilize my belt, um, you know, irrespective of, you know, what my set rep plan is for that day. Uh, what have you, more than 50% belt on. And of course, that 50% moves with me. So as I you know, increase my one rep max, you know, that 50% mark moves up, and it, so it takes me longer and longer before I put my belt on. Uh, whereas if I am not training or I, I detrain and swing myself back down a bit, uh, my 50% drops. And so therefore, the point that I put on my belt is uh, a little bit earlier. Um, but anyway, uh, kind of to the point, uh, Jordan, I don't really see any major issues with your deadlift other than the couple of corrections that I'd already mentioned, things that are just very honestly quite nitpicky. Um, the bottom line is if, if the weight is uh, feeling all right, the, the movement doesn't hurt, and, and, and the, the weight is moving, you're doing pretty good. Um, and then Jordan said to me that he was concerned, you know, as, as far as the numbers not going up, that maybe he was doing something wrong. And that's ultimately why I wanted to make this video is so that I could talk to anybody else that's out there. Um, and I don't want you guys to assume that just because the weight isn't piling on and you're making PR, you know, week after week, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing something wrong. Um, you may be doing a lot of things right. Um, and so in terms of the performance of the movement, uh, you may be doing just fine. There, there might not, there actually might be a point where it's going to be hard to optimize that movement specifically. Um, if it gets to that point where you're so um, fluid with the movement and you've kind of got your personal form locked in and everything feels good for you, then maybe the changes that you need to make are in some of your training style, sets, reps, uh, percentages, um, additional accessory work that you're doing, um, how much sleep you're getting, how much, how much you're eating, things like that can all have a huge impact on your numbers. And so I think that, you know, Jordan's lifts here are a really good message for everybody out there that um, just because the numbers aren't necessarily going the way that you want doesn't mean necessarily mean that you're doing something really drastically wrong with the performance of the movement. So Jordan, I was very glad to take a look at your form and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. It's nice to see uh, a guy with, you know, pretty solid form uh, moving decent weight and feeling pretty good. Um, so as long as, as long as the weight continues to move, as long as you continue not to feel any pain or discomfort in how you're performing that move. Um, I don't see a whole lot that I would try to stress uh, to, to change and, and optimize. Like I said, other than maybe just those couple of things that I mentioned. Um, and you're doing real well. So hopefully that helps you, Jordan. And hopefully that bit of information helps any of you that are out there that are maybe stuck on a PR or, you know, stuck, you know, doing whatever it is that you're doing and feeling that maybe you're not doing it right. 
Um, sometimes you are performing that move just right, like I said, um, and it might be something else that you need to you need to twist or, or tweak uh, to you know start seeing more gains come come your way. Um, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the chat box below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, hopefully it helps a number of people. We'll just give the idea that maybe you're not doing something wrong. Um, and if anyone else is out there that has some other questions specifically for form checks or whatever else, you know, hit me up. I'm glad to do it. I definitely want to make the form checks kind of a regular thing if I can. And I prefer to do it in this, in this format here so that not only am I helping you as the person asking for the form check, but I'm also helping lots of other people that can see that uh, and it might give them an idea or two about their own particular form as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's the video. I appreciate you checking it out. Thank you very much. Um, I definitely would appreciate any likes, shares, and all the all the subscribes that uh, that uh, come my way. Uh, I'm really grateful for everyone that's jumped on the channel. So if you've if you've gotten on the channel fairly recently, I want to thank you so much for jumping to the channel and being here with us. And um, yeah, keep the questions coming, keep the comments coming. I like the interaction that's happened on the channel. It's it's really good stuff. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, train despite. You either find an excuse or you find a way. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.